G'day friends and welcome to our Create Weekly, which isn't going to be a Create Weekly and it's not on a Monday, I'm just doing a short one on a Tuesday. Okay, so it's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator of Australia. I'm a little bit early, but um, I thought I'd um, share with you a couple of cards I created the other day um, using the um, Dandy Designs um, DSP from Celebration. I don't know what it is, but I love the papers in this pack. Could be the colours. They are, some of them are, um, are pretty bold, but um, they're okay if you tone them down a bit. So the first card we're going to be creating is this one. So it's a very simple one. And we're going to be using the um, Celebrate Sunflowers. This is one of my favourite sets. Um, and I haven't used it for a while. But in saying that, I have done a lot of pre-stamping. Okay. So let's get on with the show. Now... In saying that we're going to create this card, I have changed the colours around just to give you two options. And don't forget too that if you don't have what I'm using, use what you have in your stash. Okie dokie. So these are all our bits and bobs. So our base card is going to be um, rich Razzleberry. Now I have taken the colours from the pack of DSP. Okie dokie. So I'll just put that aside. We're going to bring in a piece of basic white. Before we do that, we're going to bring in a piece of the DSP and this is the pattern I'm going to be using. So as I said, it is pretty bold, but we'll try and tone it down a bit. Well, we'll keep it probably, it'll probably turn out bold, but I have toned it down with a couple of colours. Now, I'm going to, and saying that, I'm going to be using basic grey for it to be layered on. So... Basic grey is not a colour that I usually go for. And I will say that these colours are way out of my comfort zone. So, g'day Rosalie, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. So, we're just going to do a couple of easy cards today. Ones that you can switch up and <clears throat> chop and change, whatever you like. So we've done that and all we're going to do now is put this onto a piece of basic white so that it's nice and straight and it's all even around the top and the sides and i think that is crooked and that looks pretty good now i'm just gonna pat that down okay so now i'm go actually gonna use um this i think we'll use let's celebrate you a eh? instead of thanks a bunch Um, thanks a bunch for this bit. I might actually just put the sticker on this while I think of it. I've had it for a couple of years and I've never put our stickers on. Let's celebrate you. Yeah, that's what we're using, isn't it? So, just bear with me. I'll 
just put this on. I'm not doing this too well. I'm trying to rush it, that's probably why. Was lucky and I'll just line this up so that it's nice and straight and we'll do our stamping in basic grade two I think now I just want to test this first yep So we're going to stamp our sentiment in basic grey too. So I'm just going to test it to see if I've actually got it straight. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'll just take it down out of eyesight for a moment so that I can stamp it straight. Yep, there you go. If you're not confident enough, which I sometimes not, um, don't forget to use your Stamparatus. Okie dokie. So now I've already pre-stamped um, the Sunflower Enriched Razzleberry onto Basic White and I have cut it out with the Sunflower dies. Okay, and we're just going to pop this up with dimensionals, which I have here somewhere. Hmm. That's a bit strange. I don't know how you can lose things that sit in front of you, but oh, there they are. But you seem to do. So we'll just put a couple of these on. As I said, it's a very easy and simple card, which most of mine are. And we'll just put that there like that. And while I think of it, let's put it onto our base card, eh? Before we finish it all off. So that's basically toned it down a little bit. Anyhow, that that bold colouring um, pattern. I think the colour is um, crushed curry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a couple of, um, I don't know what you call these things, but we're going to cap off these things. So I've already pre-die cut those. And we'll just add, I did some in white, I think I might go for the grey, the basic grey ones. Just going to chop the bottom off. Put a little bit of glue onto the bottom. And just stick that down like that. Then we're going to grab another one. 
same deal I'm just going to cut the bottom off put a little bit of glue you could use many glue dots if you like but I always find that I I use the glue, just put that there and we'll come in and we'll finish it off with a couple of the champagne rhinestones. So we'll put one in the middle, we'll put one about here. I'm just going to copy off the, um, the original actually. And that is our first card. But of course, I'll just press these down. You've got to have a matchy matchy envelope and inside. Now, what to do with the envelope? Yes. I just didn't want to put glue and couldn't find the envelope then. So we'll just put that on our envelope. Trim off the bottom. That's that. And bring in our basic white cardstock. Again, trimming off the excess. And that is our card, all done and dusted, quick and easy. Um, same card, different colours. I just wanted to show you that you could actually um, change things around to what you have in your stash. Okay, so that's number one. So number two is going to be a bit of a fancy fold. Easy one, but a fun one. Okay, so this is our card. Again, we're using the same um, supplies. I'm still using the Dandy Design DSP. Celebrate sunflowers. But we're just going to create this front fold. Okay, so... Okay, so I'll just grab our kit. I've already um, cut the base card down. So the base card is just our normal letter size. And I've cut about three inches, which is 7.6 centimeters from the end. Now, if you work in letter size, I'd still cut off the three inches, but I'll have all our measurements in our group for metric, imperial and letter size. So we've done that. So we can put that aside. And if you notice, I'm going to actually use the colors for this card, the colors in this card on this card. 
if that makes sense. And if you've noticed, I've used the colours on this card that we just made. I just thought I'd have a little swap, swap around. Okay, so we're going to bring in a piece of basic white and our DSP. We're going to stick our DSP to our basic white. Just press that down gently. Oops. And just put this piece onto the left side of the card front, so onto this flap. Okay and just press it down nice and gently. Then we're going to do our little flap. So I'm going to bring in our bits and bobs and we're going to use this DSP but I think we'll use this side and we're going to stick this to a piece of fresh freesia. Now, if you didn't have the DSP, well, you could leave the DSP out if you wanted to, and you could actually um, stamp a sentiment across here. You could even stamp your sentiment over this DSP because it's light enough to do so. Or you could use that side and stamp your DSP, I mean stamp your sentiment. So lots of options. Now, this piece I've already pre-scored at half an inch. It's about, I think it's about 1.2 centimetres. And what we're going to do is bring this section in. And we are going to... I thought I had another piece there somewhere. I don't. I will leave that off for the moment because I want to use a different piece of DSP. So I'll put that on later. So what we're going to do is just bring that in there like that just so we know where we're going to place our, I haven't even finished our flap. This piece then goes on to here. We're not going to see this side on the left side, so it won't matter if it overlaps a little bit. Okay. Because I want to see the Calypso sock coral on the right side. Whoops. And I may have to I've obviously just cut it a fraction too long. So we've just done that, okay? So then what we're going to do is we're just going to put this flap, take that away. We're going to stick this flap to the inside of our base card like that. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on our flap. You could use tear and, tape, tear and tape adhesive or stamp and seal plus if you wanted to. But I like my oops, I like my glue, and we're just going to butt that up along the edge of our base card, 
just like that so that it's nice and straight so that should be straight okay so that's nice and straight then we're going to stick this to the inside I could stamp it if I wanted to it's probably a good idea before you do it but I just want to see where I want to stamp first and fingers crossed I don't make a mistake with my stamping okay so that's all done and then it just opens like that so we'll do our stamping now and I think we'll make it into a let's see Let's do a happy birthday. We can always do with those. Um, happy birthday. Grab our block. And I think we'll do it in fresh fresh hay. Just check to see if I've got it straight because I've only got one shot at this. So just bear with me while I do our sentiment and hope that I've got it straight. Oh, lucky, lucky. That's done. Now, again, I've already pre-stamped my sunflower in um, Fresh Freesia. And what we're going to do is, I'm just going to add a little bit. I'm not going to pop it up. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue onto the flap and stick our sunflower on. Okay. Just like that. And then hold that there for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds. Now I have done the um, overlay, but I'm not going to do it on this one. I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay. Then we're going to grab some of those little doovie dackers here and we're going to add those things. As I said, I don't know what the name of those things are. Leaves. Leaves. <laughs> yeah, leaves. And again, we're just going to chop the bottoms off. And as I said before, you could either use mini glue dots if you wanted to. So stick these down. Oh, I've put them on the wrong side. Okay. I want these. I don't want them to be stuck to the panel. I want them to um, move with the flower when we open the flap. So we want the glue to be on the right side. So all we're going to do is just position that and just slide that under there, just like that. Just press that down a little bit. Okay, so that's done. Then we're going to add a couple more. So we'll chop these off. Oops.
and we'll put a little bit of glue on the back. Oh no, sorry, the front A. Eh? The front of them. Nelly did it again. And we're just going to put that down there like that. Now, I know I've got a little bit of room under the flap, which is why I've put it there. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And if you do put them under here and you don't like it showing, just add a little bit of more, a um, little bit of cardstock, the same colour, just over the top and you won't see the ends. Okay. Another idea to, if you wanted to, you didn't want to do that, cut um, another flower, the shape of the sunflower, and just put it around the sunflower at the back, okay? It'll probably make it a little bit stronger too. We always think of these ideas as you're going along. Oops. And my dog just going out the back door. Sometimes she gets a little bit lost and sits there and will give a little whimper every now and then. So you've got to go and rescue her. And we'll do one more, I think, in the middle, eh? If I can stick it down. Yep. And that is nearly our card. Okay. And we'll just finish it off. We'll finish it off again with... Um, um, what do you call it? Champagne rhinestones, if I can find them. Yep. These things go with nearly everything, so. One down here. You could put your sentiment down there, sentiment down there if you wanted to, or as I said, you could stamp it across here. The DSP is light enough. Could even emboss it onto your um, DSP if you wanted to, and we'll put one right up there. So lots of options. What do I do with the? Here it is. And, of course, we have to decorate our envelope. Now, as I said, I'll have all the measurements later on this afternoon um, for the two cards. And I'll upload them for you along with the video link. And we're just going to chop those off. And that is our two cards. Easy peasy. So that one, that was the original. That one, and that was the original. So I've basically created the opposite colours today. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you so much for joining me and enjoy your day. See ya. Hooray.